There is a huge gap in the timeline on the day Summer vanished, allegedly from her home in Ben Hill Road. It just doesn't add up, and Candace has no clear explanation for that time gap. What really happened in those two or so hours before Summer was reported missing? That is where the answers are. TBI says they won't provide additional details in order to preserve the integrity of the case. I feel like TBI has way more information and has evidence to support the fact that Candace has not been telling the truth about what happened that day. However, charges can be brought on just one aspect. All the puzzle pieces will need to come together first. We've seen other cases like this take time as well. However, I find that no updates in months on end, but wanting the public to keep sharing her pictures and story is a bit worrying. Cell phone data and cell tower data have been analyzed, but I do feel like a number of burner phones were used that day. It was also said that Summer was last seen in the early afternoon hours, and this honestly leads me to believe that Candace did take Summer to the swimming hole with just Hunter that day, and then took that video. This is also the reason I'm not convinced the video with Summer sleeping on the milk jugs was taken that day at all. I think it's just a story Candace concocted later on YouTube. Would be interesting to know whether Candace told the authorities the same thing about that accidental video Grandis took. There is no evidence that Summer has been abducted, and TBI continue to investigate all possibilities including foul play. I feel the TBI was able to establish via video footage that Summer was seen earlier that day, possibly at one of the locations they stopped at. However, what happened after that is a mystery, and I think Summer vanished hours before 911 was actually called.